Hi, this is Patrick Sweeney from Moden. This year, in 2010, I wanted to do my predictions for the RFID industry on a video blog. Last year, I laid out my nine for 2009 predictions. Before I get to the 2010 predictions for the RFID industry, let's take a look at the predictions that I made last year. One of the early predictions was that the DOD would start to Google their stuff. And it turns out that's actually been pretty accurate. There have been a number of new applications within the Department of Defense, both existing legacy systems like DSS or G-Army, and new systems like Savvy Smart Chain that's enabled the DOD to put a search capability around either an active or passive RFID tag. And we really see that developing more in the coming years. Another prediction I made was that one million IT assets would be tagged in 2009 with passive RFID. That fell a little short, but it's well on the way to happening. I think some of the economic climate had a little bit to do with that. But according to numbers we've got from the Financial Services Technology Consortium, from tag manufacturers and other industries, we put it about 400 to 500,000 IT assets got tagged last year in the uh, server and IT asset tracking. And of course, Odin had a large part to do with a number of those deployments. Another prediction I made in 2009 that, that actually didn't quite come true was that Sirit, one of the leading reader companies, would become acquired. And I thought this, oh, hello, hey, look, look who's here. It's Norbay, Norbay uh, Dawadabi. It's nice to see you, the CEO from Sirit. How are you? Very good, Patrick. How about you? Good. Well, uh, I was just telling the folks and our viewers that my 2009 prediction of you being acquired didn't quite come true. So what brings you on the set? Well, uh, based on the fact that you did miss on your predictions, I thought that I would bring a couple of gifts to you. So uh, okay. first of all, just to remind you about Sirit and the fact that we do produce uh, some terrific readers, uh, you're going to have one of our readers. Okay. And I have also a very special gift for you. Uh-oh. This is the payback. This is the payback. And um, you will be having your beautiful made of hair <laughs> completely disappear. So, so this is a uh, little bet that uh, we had amongst ourselves. And uh, I think at the moment, I'm about to have my head shaved by the CEO of one of the leading reader companies in the RFID industry. Who's never done this before? Is that is that correct? Yeah, this is the beta test. So. Have you have you ever put anyone in the hospital with a sharp <laughs> instrument before? Well, we, we will try today, and we'll see what happens. Uh oh, <laughs> just all this coffee that I've had. So. Uh... Thank you very much. That was lots of fun. We appreciate that. And uh, before I do my 2010 predictions, if there's anyone who would like to take a uh, side bet for next year, we'll see you here in a year. I'm sure Norbert and I will have a, uh, an interesting set of uh, predictions and uh, a couple little side bets going as well. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that was certainly a little bit of excitement here at Odin this morning. Not sure what to tell my wife when I go home tonight, but I'm sure I'll think of something. So now let's move on to the 2010 predictions for the RFID industry. First and foremost, SIR will get acquired in 2010. I'm betting my head on it. Secondly, I actually think Intermec will get acquired. There's a number of reasons behind it, and there's been a long-term rivalry between Intermec and Symbol. And Symbol got acquired by Motorola. They've got the strength of a balance sheet and a bigger distribution channel behind them. Intermec is in a situation where they need to be acquired to continue development in new industries such as RFID, but to remain competitive in existing industries. So I'm guessing that Intermec becomes acquired, and it could be someone like Cisco or Danaher or some other people who are already in that sort of wireless vision type of industry sector. The third prediction is middleware finally kicks the bucket. I've been saying for a number of years that middleware is dead. Part of the buying cycle, that, part of the thing that's been holding back CIOs from buying RFID 
is that it's been required to put on more servers and add additional application functionality. Middleware is exactly what an RFID deployment doesn't need. Because what happens is CIOs are saying, we don't want more servers, we don't want more enterprise applications, but we do want the functionality of RFID. So middleware will finally kick the bucket in 2010, and alternatives such as agent-based functionality on the readers will really come into their own in 2010. That'll tie in automatically to SAP and Oracle and Maximo and that type of thing. I also think in 2010 there'll be an RFID company with a valuation of $100 million. There's a number of companies out there that are on the cusp of either acquisition or potentially IPO, and I think they'll break through. There have been several acquisitions around the $40, $50 million range. I think in 2010 we'll see one that actually hits above the $100 million mark. As you start to look at the evolution of RFID over the past couple of years, one thing that's become prevalent is it's been an ROI-based sell. In 2010, I think we're going to see four, maybe five applications really emerge that are based on starting to drive that, that um, big value from the technology. So those high margin apps will hit the elbow. Everyone talks about the, the hockey stick diagram that you hear when people evaluate companies. When's the inflection point in the industry? And, and that elbow, I think, has come this year when we'll see applications really take off and industries take hold. I think you'll find a healthcare company medical device healthcare company start to tag at the source. So some of these companies that are already doing medical device tagging will start to tag at the source and tag everything that they make. Right now there's about 60% of the top medical device companies using RFID. I think that will continue to expand. There's great value there. The second one that's already starting to merge will be another big area of opportunity is IT asset tracking. There is financial services companies, insurance companies, hosting companies, telecom companies, all that have tremendous data center infrastructure that requires an awful lot of manual process. The last area that I think we'll see a big emergence in is tool tracking. Aerospace and defense will lead that initiative, but you'll also find other manufacturing, heavy manufacturing. The automobile industry is poised for a comeback, at least in certain sectors, and efficiencies will be critical. RFID will drive healthcare, IT asset tracking, tool tracking, and then also container tracking as well. There's been a tremendous increase in thefts in containers this year. Part of it is entire containers got stolen. Another part of it is con contents of those containers became pilfered. RFID at the item level with passive UHF RFID can prevent that and provide a visibility in transit that no other technology can provide. So you'll start to see those applications. The last three predictions I've got for 2010, all the major hardware companies that provide servers and laptops and desktop will begin tagging and begin offering an RFID product. We've already seen this from HP, but you're going to see it from the other providers as well. They'll start tagging at the source. If you buy a laptop, if you buy a server, and you want an RFID asset tag put on that, they'll put it on, they'll write a number onto it, and most importantly, they'll provide an advanced shipping notification with all the information about that item. That'll save a tremendous amount of manpower at the receiving process, and it'll allow an automatic data capture when that item comes through a dock door, you can automatically update an asset tracking system like Maximo or Oracle or any of those systems. So you'll see all the major hardware manufacturers do that in 2010. Another interesting prediction is Apple, there's been a lot of talk around it, Apple will come out and announce a UHF based product in 2010. The reason it's going to be UHF and not near field in terms of, uh, of some of the past technologies is they need a broader read range. The, the issue that they'll struggle with is how to find something cheap enough and small enough to embed into something like an iPhone or an iPad. But there's tremendous application possibilities with the UHF based solution. And lastly, I was a little bit wrong on this one in 2009, so I'm backing off just a touch. Boston Red Sox will win the American League Championship Series and go on to the World Series. I'm Patrick Sweeney. Thank you for tuning in to this brief video blog. Hope you enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing how we came out in 2010. Have a great year.